Today we're kicking off Bookfest in style with a readathon, which is continuous reading by well-known authors, creative writing students, and book lovers and Oxfam volunteers of every kind. If any of them had really been bent on impropriety, but no one doubted their integrity for a moment. It was just the look of the thing that mattered. I said, if a gentleman holds his hand out, I'm not going to put mine behind my back. I will not be rude. I finished this book last summer, around this time, and had a few moments of rejoicing before I realised that it wasn't finished at all. And I, I went back to it, and in fact, I only just finished it again. You off? It was her landlord, leaning over the banister from his rooms above. Nell forced herself to smile up at him. What do you mean, Dan frowned? They have a theory here. Break them down to build them up. So do you want to vote? That's just, that's latest just, novel. It's a loaded yeah, question, novel. isn't it, really? Hands up for latest, latest novel. novel. <laughs> Hands up for George Eliot. Normally lovely. Latest novel. <laughs> Fantastic. That was Richard on the phone. Dominic slotted the kettle back onto its base. And what did he want? He's taking us on holiday. Are we talking about your brother, or is this an entirely different Richard? His eyes were closed. He was on horseback, using a broadsword to behead the Nazi zombies that were pouring through the breach in the stockade. Mm. And yet she loved him. She loved him still. That hadn't changed. Had she married the wrong one? How the hell had she married the wrong one? <laughs> it wasn't like she'd skimped on her research. She'd dated enough guys before Neil. She'd always thought he was exactly, entirely, irrefutably, absolutely the guy for her. Nat reached into her bag and felt around for her purse. Her bag was like the Doctor Who TARDIS. She found an umbrella, a notebook, business cards, makeup. But where was her damn purse? I sometimes fancy that in my condition, if I had less opposition and more society and stimulus, it is a big, airy room, the whole floor nearly, with windows that look all ways. Bush, you see, is responsible for all the troubles in the world today. I have a plan that will stop him in his tracks. After the greatest quarterback in history, Russian sailors and glitter suntan cream I was just about ready for anything. It's still Oxfam Book Fest 2010, a celebration of books and reading and all the good work that can happen just by bringing your books to Oxfam.